Oh, God damn it. Take two. All right, three, two, one, go. Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here on a beautiful, finally the first warm Sunday, sunny afternoon. We are probably, what, the May 5th of 2019. I'm out here just uh, still breaking in the MT-09 for 2019. I still have lots more to do, which I haven't gotten around to doing it, just due to the fact that I don't have a place to actually physically work on the bike, which totally sucks. Right now, I'm actually just more or less riding, and the weather here in spring time um, has been really, really sucky. Uh, again, for those who do not know whereabouts I am located, so I am in the Ontario or Toronto, Ontario region of Canada. Um, which is no, not we're not covered by snow all the time as a North Pole or anything like that, but <laughs> our riding seasons are fairly short compared to many of you guys down south or many of you guys actually worldwide. Um, so, what are we doing today? Well, I, as of this morning, I had to run out and with my daughter Bailey to go get herself a new pair of gloves. And at the same time when we did that, we, we stopped off at a little burger joint out in Whitby Way and uh, then got back here and you as you all know i have twins so if you take one out for a ride you got to take the other one out for a ride so this is where i am now uh, with my son sage uh, which we just went up north region of uh, toronto and uh, because they have the same burger joint or franchise i guess you would want to call it um same burger joint <laughs> up north so we went to go and try that one uh, what's it called? It's called Big Boys Burgers. Big Boys Burgers. Uh, so I know that there's two actually right now. One out in Whitby and the other one up in, uh, I guess we are in Richmond Hill area of uh, Toronto region. So, like I said, it's actually the first day here where it's actually rideable weather. It's sunny, it's nice. Um, so we're at 16 degrees, which feels like they say 16 degrees in the sun. In Fahrenheit, I would have to say, I don't know, 16 degrees, probably around uh, maybe 60. I'm not going too quickly, just due to the fact, again, that this engine is still in break-in. I only got 290 kilometers, so that's a uh, fairly little miles. I think, what, you divide that by 2.2 or something? Still a long way to go for break-in procedure, which kind of, that's the, the full sucky part about it. Break-in today, it's not like the break-ins used to be many years ago, right? Break-in many years ago, uh, you know, you used to have the city engines. The engines and the technology and everything today is so much better. The quality and all that stuff. So I don't think it's as crucial to do the break-in today as you used to have to do it 20, 30 years ago. Um, I think for most part, break-in is actually probably not only you getting used to your bike and the environment but as well as along with the uh, you know the engine braking and, and the gears making sure all the gears go in nice and smooth right so still got a few things that i want to do uh, i have to put on the heated grips which i do have so i picked up a pair of heated grips and uh, i know john picked up a pair of heated grips john is the guy that you always see riding with so what I think we're going to do is we're going to actually install the same heated grips on both this Suzuki and my Yamaha and just showing you how easily these heated grips uh, are not only installed but how they function as well. They're nice to have when you're riding around in the morning or at night time when the sun goes down your hands get a little bit chilly right so um, I'm going to do that. I still got flashers to put on um, and then for the most part I think we're pretty much done so i still have to do a whole review and a whole walk around of the bike once that's all done and like i said once we start riding around and hopefully a, a thursday we'll be able to do uh, some real vlogging and get a full group ride in uh just down to leslie and lakeshore 
or even just a weekend ride that's going to happen soon enough where I do want to still announce out, uh, you know, take all the comments and announce out a winner of some swag. So stay tuned. Again, thank you very much for all your subscriptions. Thank you very much for all your comments and your feedback. If you have any suggestions, do let me know. I would totally be up for that. And uh, other than that, I, again, I just like it that you guys reach out. That's totally cool. I do try to respond to every single one of you. Love the support. Get your buddies to support as well. Be safe. Have fun. Be good. See you guys soon.